Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. We're back here with the Datsun and we're gonna clean up that engine bay over there and get everything ready for paint. It's a little bit raining right now, but we uh, should be able to get through this. All right, our goals for today is take this harness off, take all the fuel pump, um, fuel pressure regulators off, get every piece of wire off the uh, side of the walls, including this side. I'm gonna end up cutting this harness back uh, inside the car because I have another like two foot of engine harness that I could pull out so I don't have to rewire that at all. I'm gonna see about taking the brake master and the brake booster off, taking that window uh, washer motor off, I mean windshield wiper motor off, and pretty much whatever airlines and stuff like that we need to clean up. And if we get time today we're gonna go ahead and pressure wash, see if we get all this black set off. I might pull these, these two fenders off and this uh, headlight cap, whatever you want to call that, uh, go ahead and pull that off as well as this bumper on the bottom and go ahead and just get everything ready and to be cleaned up. Alright guys, a little update here. I got pretty much everything cleared out from this side on. This side is completely cleared. You know, these are just fuel lines on hooks right here. Some, uh, that's the fuel return I believe. And then these brake lines just on hook going off. Once I take this master off, that'll be unhooked. I got all my harnesses. I got all my harnesses right here. Um, this is all actually one harness. It looks like it's not, but it's it's one harness that comes right here, and then you got this other harness. That's for the uh, the wiper motor. I don't want to take that one off yet until I know how to put it back together because I'm trying to get the wipers to work again. I took uh, this side bare just so I could see uh, some wires that's in the inner fender right there. I found the B in the car just now, so I'm kind of worried about going inside to take the um, kind of worried to go inside and take the brake master off and the brake booster off because I'm not trying to get stung it I think it was a yellow jacket but we'll see um, but this is what I want to work on next and then I'm going to spray everything down with the greaser get the pressure washer out here pressure wash everything off and um, if I need to I got some wire wheels and some paint stripper I could uh, get some of this old paint off Alright guys, this is for another update. I got the master cylinder off and the brake booster off. Well, the uh, master cylinder is still here, but I don't want to forget where these two uh, brake lines go to, so I'm going to wait until I have a marker and I can mark them. Um, going to take the slave cylinder off with a clutch and possibly the linkage here for the, uh, for the steering, but Last time I remember that thing, uh, when I took it off, it was really hard to put back on. Uh, so I don't know if I'm going to take it off or I'm just going to tape it up and paint around it. Uh, now I did get this side headlight and fender off. And yeah, this car has been in an accident before. It, this is all crumpled up and someone took a hammer to it and beat it all back out. But I mean, you don't really see it once everything goes back in. But yeah, this is it. 
this is the uh, front end pretty much completely apart. Uh, all the bumpers are all the bumpers are off, fenders are off, hoods off, engines out, Y harness is off to the side. Um, once I get some tape where I can mark what these these wires are, uh, that's why I'm gonna cut the harness back to where the fire burnt it up. And because some of those, I remember when I was putting it together, some of them were kind of hard to figure out um, as far as like where the wire wires up to. Because this is all a self-built harness, I guess custom-made harness to the car for the uh, Mega Squirt uh, to be able to run the uh, L28. But I mean, we're making good progress. Well, I'm making good progress, but I'm by myself. The next step would be, uh, I'm gonna see if this rain stops here so I can go get the pressure washer in the, uh, on the other side of the yard. And I'm gonna spray pretty much all this black stuff off and try and clean it up. So that way when, when it dries off and I come back, I can get a better idea of if I need to ship all the paint off or if I could just wire wheel some areas and sand the rest of it down and um, spray some uh, primer on top of this. For the primer, I bought I bought spray cans. I do have a spray gun and a spray setup, but I don't have an air compressor here. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, um, to bring an air compressor here or bring the car to the air compressor to be able to paint it. Um, at least not just for the engine, but if I do it, I wanna be able to paint the whole car at once. I'm still debating on how I'm gonna paint this the car. I wanna do a better job than I did last time. Um, last time when I painted the car, it, it, honestly, it, it looked like a two-year-old just took spray paint and went at it. Thank you for watching my video. Um, if you like the Dotson content, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel.